All right, here we go. We AdSense click PL and Corgi. Let's rock. Round one, Taka tournament. Japanese event. So AdSense is the purple, which you don't I don't see you don't see too much purple. Oh, we've got perseverance. I wasn't even ready to count count casts. And then Corgi is the Estoc Pyro guy. Nice dodge. So two standing R1s from AdSense. I think that's two Perseverance uses. Huge damage on that Black Flame, almost 500, 497. Nice dodge by Corgi. So once again, Corgi is the red, AdSense, click, PL is the purple. Now what is going on? All right, here we go, round two. So AdSense is up 1-0. So there's the R1 into the black, or actually I guess that's an L2 into a black flame because the, his weapon and pyro setup are reversed from what you normally see. So it's best two out of three, so we'll, we're going to see what happens here. So AdSense has the weapon art shield, two standing R1s, there's another, there's a roll catch. So Corgi could be in trouble here. AdSense is the purple, Corgi is the red. So Corgi is definitely one shot here. Nice dodge by Corgi. Dragon Tailbone Spear. Oh no. He's trying to do him dirty like that, huh? So Tailbone Spear is just absolutely ghastly. Like the base damage and the scaling is just terrible, but it's kind of like a... naughty weapon to use on your opponents to finish him with. Sounds like somebody got a ring swap there. Lots of rolls. There's the box. Alright, here we go. Round one, Pickaxe Dream and Ryoto. So Pickaxe Dream is the gold on the bottom with the pickaxe and Ryoto is the red with Looks like Frayed Blade, so Dexterity build. 200 damage, that's not bad. Wow, 437 on that jump at jumping attack by a pickaxe dream. There's the Cestus Punch. That left, <laughs> that's just hilarious. Run in and give him a couple of whacks. So, we're off to a good start at any rate. There's two E-bolts. I think it's, uh, the rules say people are limited to six. Got a hit, 191. So Arbalist is going to hit pretty hard. So Pickaxe Dream pulled out. There's, I saw, I thought I saw Red Hilted Halberd and then that went away and then now he's got out 
regular halberd. So, wow, got the roll catch with the pickaxe. Gigantic damage. Have not seen any galvanize yet, so that's pretty interesting. Nice running attack by Ryoto. Got a standing R1. Rolling attack from Pickaxe Dream. There's the weapon art. All right, here we go, round two. So Ryoto's up 1-0. Ryoto is the red with Frayed Blade. And Pickaxe Dream is the gold with Pickaxe that just got two hits for 812 damage. There's another one. Four hits, so definitely Ryoto is in trouble here. Pickaxe Dream misses the jumping attack. Ryoto gets the R1, then weapon art. There's a rolling attack from Pickaxe Dream, and we are one and one. All right, here we go, round three. So Pickaxe Dream and Ryoto are one and one. So Pickaxe starts off with a Galvanize. I think that's the first one that we've seen so far. Galvanize is an, an incredibly powerful weapon art. It's super cheap, lets you have faster stamina recovery, and most importantly, it uh, recovers your poise frames. So, really good weapon, really good poise weapon ability when you want to trade with people is what he's probably trying to do with Leo Ring. There's a rolling attack. So he's got a couple of these, like three of these rolling attacks, I think. Oh, there was the parry. Too late on the parry by Pickaxe, look like. So Ryoto's doing a great job dodging these black fire bomb or the rope black fire bombs while still staying aggressive so keep an eye on pickaxe dreams left hand there you know so there's a galvanize They're gonna trade. Yeah, that was like twice. Ooh, over twice as much damage. Got to. Wow. Consistently. I mean, it's just completely different. That's what's so interesting about these tournaments. Okay, so we got Cashmere Goat versus Hisapu. Round one. Oh, and uh, so I was saying that's part of the reason why it's fun to do this is seeing not only the difference, just everything, just the differences in the setups, differences in the play styles, and then differences in like the attitudes and uh, camaraderie, sportsmanship, and you know, I guess bad sportsmanship and BMs too. So, so Hisapu is in the Katarina set. And the goat is has the great shield. So Hisapu with that Karthus Shottle, which is incredibly powerful. I don't know what kind of build he's got yet, so I'm assuming it's deep Karthus. Or yeah, okay, so Hisapu's got Corvian Dagger, Dark Infusion. Okay, so, and then... Hisapu is probably on a strength build with Gales. But the... The Karthus Shuttle could still be dark infused, even on a strength build. So Hisapu is in trouble here. Having a little bit of trouble getting through that Great Shield. So there comes the Karthus Shuttle running attack. The goat lands a weapon art from the Corvian. 
There's Perseverance. So that's the goat. Oh. Alright, here we go. Round two. Hisapu and the goat. So Hisapu is the Katarina set with the gales. And the goat is the dark infusion weapon with the great shield. So he's got a Lothric Knight Sword right now. Had Corvian Dagger earlier. That's, I mean, so he's... And he had E-Bolts and Perseverance. So he's going pretty try-hard. So this is that and just some of the things I've seen. This seems like a little bit more try-hard than last time. 682. Huge damage. Misses the R2. Gets that weapon art there. So, Hisapu is in trouble. There's a bag step. Well, gorgeous dodges by the goat here. The goatiest of the goats. They trade. Nice baits by Hisapu, but the goat is just... Now he's using Perseverance and Ebol to finish it. Well, did he, like, not even fire there? Like, what happened? Oh, he has no Ebol. That's three! Perseverance. Alright, here we go. Round one. Shit, we gotta go up. All right, here we go. We got Matatabi and Yanma. So Yanma is the red and Matatabi is the gold with Dragon Head Shield. You know, I haven't seen very much Dragon Head Shield. It's been a while, so... And he's casting. So we've seen Homing Soul Mass and we've seen Affinity. Yep, there's the Affinity. So sorry you guys can't hear that well, but it, but we, we do have to step back because the homing soul mass and affinity will come to us. So get some affinity there. So Matatabi's got the follower saber. So he's got curved sword, straight sword. Casting. I'm kind of worried talk is too close, but no, I guess not. He's like eight inches ahead of me. It's more. Like, this is like the most affinity I've ever seen somebody get, like, in a tournament round. There's two Perseverance. I don't even know if I should. I'm going to write this stuff down anyway. We're going to see what happens. Nice running attack there by Yanma. So Yanma is definitely in a little bit better position. There's E Bolt. There's gets the roll catch. That. Oh shit! I'm too far, too close. All right, here we go, round two. So Yanma's up 1-0 over Matatabi. Nice dodges by Yanma. <laughs> so you can see Taka at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Look at him. I'm all the way zoomed in, so I can't get him out of there. Multiple hits from Yanma. Oh, Taka goes back. He was it wasn't going toward towards him though. He was a he was making me nervous, but there's one perseverance. Gorgeous use of the dragon head there. 
There's two hits from Yanma, and it's over. All right, here we go, round one. We got Taka versus Shimmerik. So Shimmerik's on the bottom with uh, Split Leaf, and Taka is on the top with, what is that, Washing Pole and Halberd. There's two hits from Taka. So Taka is the one that has organized this tournament. Very good player, numerous tournament wins. I don't probably like at least four or six or, I mean, I think he won at least three of my events. I think he, and he won his own, the, the Japanese, the other one. So we're gonna see what happens, cause it's anybody's game, a lot of these guys are pretty good. Nice running attacks by Taka. Yeah, so Shimmerik's got... He's clipping, like last time, but it could be me. So just keep that in mind. This is a Japanese event, so... What I see... may not necessarily be what that person's opponent sees, and probably isn't. So Shimmery gets the entire combo there, 751. So anybody's game, they trade. That is not what Taka wants to do. Nice bow. All right, here we go, round two. So Shimmery's up 1-0. So Shimmery's on the top with the Split Leaf and Taka is, well now he's on top. There's two of Taka's famous L2s. <laughs> so pretty much two combos from Shamarik is just, if it, it doesn't kill you it's your one shot. So nice backstab by Taka. They trade. Nice play by Shimmery. Got the trade. Get, I got another one going away. Taka got two hits. Shimmery's in trouble. He's at least two shot. Probably two hit. So still anybody's game. Shimmery gets the ring swap there. Nice L2s by Taka. Shimmery doesn't go for it though. Nice running attack by Taka. So Taka's trying to bring it back. And... All right, here we go, round three. Taka versus Shimmerik, we're one and one. So last one, unless we get a double kill. Would like to mention that those guys over in Japan are experiencing a typhoon right now, so... Good luck to everybody over there. Nice L2. Roll catch by Taka. There's two more L2s. Shimrick's in trouble. <coughs> but that changes real fast and Taka's in trouble. Oh, there's an L2. That's going to be it. Alright, here we go. 
XYZ and Taka Three Nets. So Taka Three Nets on is the mage with uh, Homing Crystal Soul Mass, and then the XYZ DK is the what is that? Black Knight Glaive with Black Knight Shield on his back. So we got a strength build or a quality build. Wow, holy smokes at the damage. Perseverance on a mage, what the heck? There's two. XYZ DK, that is right. Yeah, he's in trouble, wow. Okay, so he's got Mail Breaker. So he's two handy Mail Breaker. And now XYZ has Ringed Knight Spear. He's in big trouble. There's that L2. Didn't even try for the backstab. Just. Alright, here we go. Round two. So XYZ versus Taka 3 Net. Or I should just call him 3 Net so there's no confusion. So 3Net is the mage, XYZ is the herald user. Nice running attack there. There's Perseverance, two Perseverance. So XYZ punishes the soul mass cast with an R1. So the three net guy is just, the damage is just incredible. You don't want to get hit. So what is that? That's probably Short Sword. There's three Perseverance. And I haven't, I don't, I don't, I think that that's four Perseverance and then probably, so we got the Soul Arrow of some type. I think just the one blue es Estus. Wow, just gigantic game. All right, here we go. Round one, Mo Mokuma and Upa. So Mokuma is the caster, the purple, and Upa is the red that's using the Black Knight Glaive. So here we go. So we got Pursuers, we got some damage, 253. So there's one Ash and Estes. Jesus. <laughs> the damage is just incredible. Wow. So the purple's got a uh, Fair and Flash Sword and Flash Dart. Taking a lot of hits. This is super close. There's Throwing Knife. All right, here we go, round two. Mokuma and Upa. So Upa's up 1-0. So finish the last round with a throwing knife. Take some affinity there, Three, 300 damage. So Mokuma's sporting the, is that the clandestine? coat which is just absolutely gorgeous there's a rogue soul arrow so oop is in trouble here there's the trade
All right, here we go. Round three. We're one and one. Upa and Mokuma. So it could go either way. Multiple hits from Mokuma. Then Upa returns the favor. Actually, it looked like he smacked him kind of early, so he wasn't able to do his spin to get that Crystal Soul Spear. So Upa's taking a lot of hits here. Multiple hits still. There's the... Oh, wow. All right, here we go. Round four. We're one and one. Wow, Upa takes a Crystal Soul Spear right off the bat. So, last round we had that double kill. So we're going to see what happens this time. Makuma gets a few hits, a few more hits. Upa is in trouble here, but it could really go either way. But that is Mokuma. All right, here we go. So we got Rats versus Hanta. Round one. So Hanta is the gold and Rats is the red. So I heard that some people were excited to see Rats play. With a name like Experimental Rats, I gotta tell you, when I saw that name on the challenge, I wanted to see this guy play too. So we're gonna see what happens. Standing R1, two, some roll catches, they trade. So Rats gets the ring swap. Three hits from Rats, Hant is in trouble. Rats. All right, here we go. Round two. So Hanta and Rats. So Rats is up 1-0. Rats is the red. Hanta is the gold. Three hits from Hanta. It's the... Stuff dreams are made of, the PKCS mirrors. But that's, you know, I mean, it's it's very interesting to see the evolution, or maybe it isn't an evolution, that might be the wrong word, but just the transition or just the difference between the Volume 1 Taka Tournament and then the Volume 2 Taka Tournament. There's one Perseverance for each player. But just seeing a... Uh, the change like this is wow this is definitely like more try hard for sure than the other one so my chair is popping a little bit sorry about that oh so close so close. Nice dodge by Reds. He's hanging on the edge though. There's the rope black firebomb misses. So anybody's game, you know. Wow. All right, here we go. Round one, Pickaxe Dream on the bottom versus AdSense Click PL. AdSense starts off with a weapon art, misses. So this is probably a favorites match. Nice dodge by Pickaxe Dream. Nice roll catch by AdSense. These guys are just literally all over the place. Sorry about the camera. Wow. There's one blue. There's the 
pickaxe dream famous rolling attack doesn't get it that's they trade there's that rolling attack he got that one so adsense switches and uses pawn of night What is that broadsword? No way, man. There is no way. There's galvanized. I literally think that was broadsword. I mean, that's amazing, but definitely not the best to pull out versus PKCS, but it's probably better than pickaxe. But uh We're going to see what happens. We're still in there. There's the two hits from Pickaxe Dream. So it looks like AdSense Switch, he's using Reagan Knight's Straight Sword. So that is pretty long. Less damage, longer weapon. Gorgeous dodge by Pickaxe Dream here. There's a rolling one-handed. He's up a little bit, but. All right, here we go, round two. So Pickaxe Dream is up 1-0. So these guys are just all over the place. There's a trade. Two E bolts. Two E bolts, two R1s, they trade. So, anybody's match? I think Pickaxe Dream went down early in the Volume 1 Taka Tournament, so he's trying to not duplicate that. from AdSense. Nice standing R1. This is one of the most intense matches where like nobody is taking damage. I'm telling you that's broadsword. There's a standing R1. Pickaxe could be in trouble here. There's the... He doesn't have any juice, maybe. So we tried for the Dragon Tailbone Spear weapon art two times. The second time I didn't see anything. Might have been out of the FP. There's the standing R1. Pickaxe is in trouble. All right, here we go. Round three, we're one and one. So Pickaxe Dream with the Galvanized and Green Blossom and AdSense with just the Green Blossom. There's the Rolling Attack. Nice Rope Black Firebomb by Pickaxe Dream. So both of these guys are good contenders. I feel like this is probably one of the best matches that we've had 
out of the day, but unfortunately somebody's gonna have to go home. Ah, sorry about the camera. These guys are just everywhere, way more so than anybody else. Holy smokes. See if I can try to move it so it's not jerking for you so bad here. There's another green blossom by AdSense. Nice roll catch. Nice running attack by Pickaxe Dream. Two punches with the Cestus there. Rolling attack with the four prong plow. Nice running attack by AdSense. There's the standing R1, standing R1. Here we go, round one. We got the goat and Yanma. The goatiest of the goats. So goat with murky hand scythe and Yanma with PKCS. So we've had a, I guess we had a rule change. So he can, players can use Murky hand scythe, but not use weapon arts with it. There's one perseverance. There's three perseverance. So he just used it. So maybe, I don't know what, yeah. So level four, 140 in our region, I guess that's what we're doing. Nice running attack there by Yanma. Two hits from Yanma, the goat's in trouble. Two hits, three hits. So Yanma's like two hits away and the goat is one hit away. Wow, so close. <laughs> nice running attack. All right, here we go, round two. So the goat's up 1-0. So goat with murky hand scythe and Yanma with pot of night curve sword. So two hits, three hits from the goat. Nice dodge by the goat. So nice use of the weapon art shield. Multiple perseverance. Ba that punch bounced off. So these guys are Two hits from the go, two hits from Yanma. Anybody's match. Still anybody's round, anybody's match. Two hits from the go. Looks like they're about even on life. Multiple perseverances, like so we're going we're getting into we're like four perseverance each. With min max starter armor and try hard weapons. We don't have region, but we're going pretty try hard right now. But hey, why not? They trade very similar health here. Watching these guys like 
their parallels is like just look at it so Yanma could be in trouble here no it's the goat that goes down all right here we go round three we're one and one Yanma and long hair goat so the goat with Murky still, and then Yanma with Pond of Night Curve Sword. So a couple hits from the goat. Multiple Perseverance. Lots of parallel. These guys' parallels, watching them do that is just amazing. Two hits, three hits, four hits, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So Yanma's like two hit, I think. Goat just took his first hit. And there it is, there's the three. They don't call him the goat for nothing. All right, here we go, Taka and three net, round one. So Taka's on top, he's the red, and three net is the gold mage on bottom. All right, so round one, here we go, let's see what happens. Big damage from 3-Net. Gets away from Taka's stuff. Two hits. Nice. That looks like Longsword. So fairly common mage weapon. I think 3-Net's used a couple of weapons though. There's Perseverance. Taka punishes it. So there's the Ash and Estus. So I'm staring intently. We're gonna see what happens here. Lots of dodges. That's gonna be, that looked like Affinity he was trying to bring out. Taka's all over him now. Is that Estoc? What's? I got this a katana. Nice weapon art. A mage pulling out a weapon art and lands it. There's a rolling attack. Taka's one shot. He's in trouble here. There's Soul Arrow. Doesn't get it. Therena uses Perseverance. I was waiting for it. I was just about to say, where is the mail breaker? He's right. <laughs> he's right at the bottom of the steps, but. Shouldn't come here. Wow. Alright, here we go. Round two. So, 3-Net is up 1-0 over Taka. So, 3-Net is the gold mage on bottom. And Taka is the red on top. So, 3-Net gets a hit. Taka gets his two hits. Taka's being aggressive here. 3-Net gets a hit. He is just all over. 3-Net. You can tell 3-Net is a very competent mage, very practiced the way that he sends his attacks and, it, like, and, and immediately recasts like every time. Gets a hit there. So we got, this is just like a really great tournament. Lots of good players, lots of good builds. I mean, they're going try hard, but I mean, that's what I want to see. I want to see, that's what we want to see is the best players, the best builds, not a bunch of randoms. Two hits, two hits from Taka, a bets s -Doc. I knew I saw Estoc earlier. All 
All right, here we go. Round three. We're one and one. So three net versus Taka. So let's see what happens. So it looks like Taka blue bugged. Versus three net. There's his L2. So multiple hits from 3-net, more hits, Taka's at half-life, but we know Taka could still be his fight. So Taka is not letting 3-net get away, there's an L2. Get some of that stuff. There's the soul arrow, and Taka pulls it off. All right, here we go. Round one, Rats and Mokuma. So Rats is the red, and Mokuma is the purple caster. So round one, let's rock and roll. So rats choosing to go with four pro four plunged wow. Four pronged plow. This is a great weapon against mages. Lots of dodges here. I like that walking chug he does. He do, he looks like he's just like walking down the sidewalk drinking a soda. Wow, Crystal Hail. I gotta say that's one of my favorite sorceries in Dark Souls 3. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I like it. And then the Fair and Flash Sword. Wow, so that's a trade right there. There's another trade. Mokuma with the flash dart. It's so close. Green Blossom. They trade. Oh my gosh. We've. All right, here we go. We're. This is round two, and we're O and O. Rats, Mokuma, we already had one round, yep, with a double kill. Nice. R1 and then get out of there super fast. Type thing, what kind of... There's a... Interesting. So there's Perseverance. There's another one that's like four hits. So Makuma's in trouble in this one. Needs to turn it around fast. Sorry about the camera, they're going up and down. -y. Multiple casts, multiple casts, multiple. There's another one. Wow, that's gonna be it. Okay, I gotta turn the page here. I can't see what I'm doing. Reds, Mokuma, Reds. Okay. 